for the first time I'm about to attempt a triple so here we go Hey, Reggie, uh, that's a great question. I am uh, ready to fight today with Shannon, so I give you the arm wrestling in space. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready? I think I won that one. What would you get as a gift for a kid from space? Uh, that's a fantastic question. If there was a kid from space and we define that as somebody who grew up in an environment in orbit um, without standing on a planetary object, I would want to give them a walking stick because I think they'd have a hard time dealing with standing on a surface and being able to move around very well. My question is, if you will ever see a future for making a garden on the moon or Mars? I think it is absolutely important that we figure out how to have a garden uh, or gardens on, on the moon and on Mars. And I think NASA is very interested in making sure that we know how to do that when the time comes. smell like in space and it's kind of hard to describe but it's this metallic smell i think megan says it hamburgers. smells like hamburgers <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe we're just really hungry for a real hamburger up here but what kind of beef do you guys get on the space station this is an example of a dehydrated beef patty. It actually does taste like a pretty good burger, but it's been dehydrated, so we have to add hot water and then wait a little while before we can eat that one. Um, and then this is a beef steak that's um, been irradiated to be shelf stable. So it's not quite as good as the fresh steak you might uh, be able to cook for yourself at home, but we like it just fine. That is an excellent question. Maybe not as much on the ground, I don't know. We don't have the wind up here, so that's not gonna tangle our hair. But look at Kate's hair, it just floats around. I keep mine in a ponytail, so it doesn't uh, get in, stuck on Velcro and get into things. But your hair can be a lot of fun up here, for sure. My question for you is, if it is true that on Jupiter uh, it rains diamonds. When lightning happens on Jupiter, methane turns into carbon, and then as that, those chunks of carbon fall towards the surface, they turn into first graphite and then diamonds up to a centimeter in diameter. I want to ask you, my question for you is, is it fun in space? That's a good question. It is a lot of fun in space. Uh, we, we can float, we can, uh, we can be upside down. You know, we have crew members that are actually being funny as we speak. You see a lot of balls flying around. So it, there's a lot of things that you can really do to uh, make the most of the weightless environment. Um, we work a lot, obviously, but we also like to have some fun sometimes. So it's really cool to be in space. It's exactly what you think it would be. It's, uh, it was my kid's dream and uh, we're having a ton of fun with the crew.